hello there welcome to my channel today we'll be making eto one of my favorite dishes this is a birthday dish prepared by people from the southern part of ghana it's made with yam or plantain but in today's recipe we'll be using yam for our eto it is so delicious let's have a look at the ingredients So I have my yam here, scotch bonnet, pepper, cayenne pepper, I have parsley here. You can use any pepper of your choice. I have bell pepper over there, basil leaf, I have oregano, ginger and onion. I have smoked shrimps, you can use fresh shrimps or if you have shrimp powder you can use that. I have herring powder. I have my organic salt, palm oil, eggs, and avocado. You can use any quantity of eggs that you want. So I'll start off by peeling my yam. So this yam, I'll have to cut a portion from it because part doesn't look good. So just to peel the yam off and take of any bad parts or any parts that is gone off I'm done peeling my yam and I've sliced it into sizable shape to help it cook faster meanwhile while I was peeling my water was on fire so the water is almost about to boil I'll just add in the yam I've washed the yam as well you can cut the yam into any shape that you want the most important thing is for it to cook so i would like to use this opportunity to welcome all new persons here kindly hit the subscribe button if you haven't and turn on post notifications this channel is all about healthy simple healthy recipes so I have my eggs here I've washed the eggs as well I'll be cooking the eggs with the yam but you can decide to cook yours separately but I feel like it, it will be waste of uh, fuel and everything to cook it separately so I've just washed my eggs adding it to the yam to cook and then I'll add in my organic salt So it's time to blend our spices. I'm adding in my scotch bonnet peppers, then my cayenne pepper. As I said, you use the quantity of pepper that you think you can tolerate, and it depends on the quantity of etoy you are making. I'm making this for the whole family, so it'll be a lot. My basil has gone in, oregano and parsley has gone in. So I'll just cut my onions and add it with the shrimps you can feel free to use a chopping board if you're not comfortable using your hands this is so easy to make so I'm done and then everything is in my blender i'm adding in my smoked shrimps as i said you can add um, fresh shrimps if that's what you have or powdered shrimps i'm using this in place of a um, bouillon cube or maggi i do not use maggi i rather prefer the shrimps and herrings so just blending that you can use the Eating wear bowl to grind your spices. I have um, chopped onions here in a saucepan on fire, so it's time to start the sauce. So, this is my palm oil going into my saucepan on fire. The amount of palm oil too is dependent on the quantity of ethyl you'll be making. So I'll just let the oil heat up and then I'll add in my onions to let it 
caramelize a bit before I add the rest of the ingredients. The spices I'm using are based on my preference as in the parsley and basil so you can choose to add any spices of your choice and you can add um, smoked fish if you desire or kobe or momone that's cured fish or salted fish so my onions has caramelized and i'm adding in my blended spices that's the ginger garlic and onions and the rest with the pepper so just give that a stir add in add in salt and the rest of the ingredients so this my salt the salt is according to your taste and then my uh, herring powder or powdered herrings as i said you can use any fish, smoked fish that smoked salmon tuna any fish of or any protein of your choice so we just let this cook for five minutes my blended spices have simmered in the oil and the smell is so good so just turn off the fire and check on the yam to see if it's cooked and then we move to the next step I'm just using a fork to check if it's soft then I know that it's cooked so the next thing to do is to transfer the boiled yam into an earthenware bowl so if you do not have the earthenware bowl you can go ahead and mash it directly on the pot using the potato masher that's if you do not have the earthenware bowl it does perfectly well as this one or you can just pour it into a into a small a wider bowl sorry into a wider bowl and then mash it up so i'm using this to mash it until everything mashes smoothly just give that a mash similarly you can use them um, plantain so this is done and this is what I have here. So if you're using plantain too, this is how it will come out. So I'll just add in the sauce that we made. I've poured, fetched some of the sauce into a smaller bowl, which I'll use um, later. But I'm just adding in the sauce to the mashed yam. Then I give it a stir until it combines well with the sauce. And these are my eggs. I'm just giving, peeling them. As I said, you can use any uh, quantity of eggs. You don't have to use this much. I'm using this much because it's for the whole family. So after mixing the sauce with the yam, this is what we have. This is the etto. So the etto is complete now. But what I'll do is just to garnish it a bit to make it attractive. So just laying in my avocado so you can garnish it or serve it anyhow at this point the etto is ready to eat uh, to be eaten so i'm just trying to give it a garnish and then i dish it out and serve it with the sauce that we fetched into the small bowl so just a, a sneak peek on how i'm garnishing the etto in case you want it to turn out um this way or you want it garnished this way this is just a sneak peek of it so my etto is ready so colorful and delicious i couldn't wait to eat it this is how i garnished mine and then in the small bowl is the sauce that i made Remember I fetched some down, so this is it. You just dish out the etto, add in a spoon, and then you are good to go. My etto is ready. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and share with your friends as well, because this is so delicious, healthy, and wallet-friendly. Thank you so much. So much for watching. 
Don't forget to leave your comments and reviews after you've recreated this dish and share with your friends and family as well. See you.